Oh! Hmm. So what are we doing here? Oh my god! Not her having the deep throat gawk gawk 2000. Oh my- Oh my god! Look at her looking satisfied! What is going on? How's it going everybody? My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang bang gang gang. Let's get back into this game. Master Detective Archive Brain Code. That is a lot to say. We're back and we got to figure out who is behind all of these dead bodies. Um, Shinny turns out to be a baddie. And I still feel like Melamie is behind all of this. I don't know, I might be wrong. Well, I might be digging too hard into it. But anyway, <laughs> before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like for your girl, follow me on my social media, some stuff, and let's begin. Where has Shinny taken me? What is this? Am I chained? And I got a cape now, huh? Looking like a little superhero. <laughs> yeah. Like, where am I? Huh? Where am I? Right. Shani? Where are we? Hello? What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Uh, what is this? What did I obtain? You took this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Right. Mm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. Well, it's got that kind of vibe, right? This place kind of makes me feel like it's like a place that has all of her favorite stuff in it. Like, I don't know. An alternate universe. Hmm. You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. You probably think it's cliched, huh? Hmm. Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Okay. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Huh. Materializes mysteries? Right. Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Hmm. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze so I gotta go through the, is the mystery? I gotta go through the maze to figure out who actually did it. I is that what you're saying? I interact with this mystery labyrinth. Hmm. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. That is a lot to say. I'm not saying all that. Yeah, I'm not saying all that. Beat it. Mm -hmm. In every case, there's a hidden truth. Mm -hmm. We have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. Okay. So if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the hmm. true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We're okay, let's do the it. Identity too? You couldn't solve it in mm -hmm. reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. I mean, I feel like I solved it. I might be wrong, but like, but let's see. Whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Okay, so as we go, it'll be harder. Cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Mm -hmm. Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. Do I have to fight? So you're saying there are traps in there? Right. Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained hmm. it all, let's head into the dungeon. Why do I have to go through traps in like my own place? Like if I gave up my memories for this place to help me, why I gotta have traps in it? Right. Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, hmm. A mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. Mm -hmm. This one is formed from a murder on the Amaterasu Express. Uh-huh. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going... Uh-huh, let's get there. Let's the get there, Yuma. The Amaterasu Express case will be solved? There you go. You yeah, got it. Totally get it. What? I don't get anything. This makes no logical sense. I mean, Jeez. nothing here that's this happened is illogical. You're former detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Right. Of course I am. Okay, uh... I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery lab. Right, just like let's just get in there. Any more questions along the way? Stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Ma'am, 
Ma'am, I don't like you that way, okay? I got a man. Okay. No, it won't. Please explain everything now. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Okay. Let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Hmm. I'm just ready to get in there. Sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. The keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, hmm. Something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're okay. They're called solution keys, and hmm. they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, hmm. where do I find them? Right. Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. Hmm. You kind of had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. I mean, I remember everything. Let's see. I recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. Gotcha. The Amaterasu Express? The Amaterasu hmm. Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. Yep. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Doors won't open it's while it's won't moving. Open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. Mm -hmm. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. Mm -hmm. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. But the lights did go out for like a second. Oh, oh, girl, did you drink too much? Here's your solution key. Oh, oh, is that how the key looks every time? You gotta throw up? Okay, so now we got a root map. Okay. So this is a solution key, but why did it come out of your mouth? Right. Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. Ugh. I worked really hard developing this method. Oh, you know what? You this sounds like a bigger issue. This? Right. So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. Okay, let's go. All right. I'll do my best. Okay, keep going, Yuma. Oh. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Exactly. Including myself. There were six master detectives on board. Mm -hmm. Apex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that. And who died first again? It was, it was uh, Zilch the, the yep, the, infirmary. yep, Zilch. I was about, I the dude with the ears. Through the crack of the door and looking, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Mm-hmm. Okay, knife in his chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area mm -hmm. i hurried to open the door but it wouldn't budge because it was locked mm -hmm. that mean this was a locked room mystery oh oh is that a callback to danganronpa one when my girl that was the martial artist died by you know self-deletion not hmm. really there's a chance the killer had a duplicate key hmm oh, that's no fun that's anyway, true. I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, mm -hmm. Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Hmm. Now, like, my thing is, like, are they, like, really dead? The or others, are they going to come back? So I moved to the second car. Hmm. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I hmm. think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Hmm. Oh, not her getting excited, Shinny. Okay, she was burnt to a crisp. That reminds me, something was off about car two, right before the train entered mm -hmm. the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. And the lights went out for like a second. Entering the tunnel, it's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. Hmm. And there was a blackout right after. Mm -hmm. Although it only lasted a moment. And so that kicked on the backup. Uh, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No. Mm -hmm. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again. But, but no, no blackout. blackout. Mm -hmm. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Let's see. It says there was a blackout and a shaking. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. Hmm. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Poochie. Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. She didn't have to go like that. She didn't. She did not have to go like that. Yeah, wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? 
I remember something about that. Mm -hmm. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. Mm -hmm. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. And I think that's what happened. You amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? Hmm. I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. Which means the main the backup was on, is off. That means the main system was down, right? What yes. What do you think about that? Hmm. Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Correct, so the killer's yeah, still in there. That's Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the port car, right? I'm not sure. He was also covered in burns. I'm not sure called him a geezer. <laughs> there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds. Hmm. But he was holding the cell phone he uses See, for his photography ability. See, and I feel like that was a very good clue because look, Melanie is looking at him drinking the coffee, all right? Something was in the coffee to make him sleep and she was urging him to go to sleep anyway and to go sleep in the infirmary where his body was supposed to be, but he wasn't. He fell asleep in the restroom. So she tried to stab him and said, I feel like it's Melanie, man. I feel like it's Melanie. Oh, yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> anyway, forget it's not it's useless. For now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Mm -mm. I think it's Melanie, man. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. Aphex. The necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. Mm -hmm. He also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Mm hmm. Look like they might have stabbed him first and came to get zilt later because the knife looks like it was there and then taken out and they probably went to go stab him zilt also judging by things like the plate on the wall the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars mm -hmm. maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out that's that's a possibility that is a possibility, oh, but... And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Hmm. Yep, and there was blood there. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Mm -hmm. Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station... I dealt with that big, ugly money dude. the peacekeepers report, they all burned to death. Hmm. But that part seems off to me. Yeah think that they were stabbed or killed beforehand and then burned and they above. also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car mm-hmm yeah the coffee yeah I think that's everything of note mm-hmm oh my god uh are we gonna see this every time <laughs> should be enough solution keys to solve it you know what and it's me i know i keep going to melanie but another thing that's getting me with melanie is that last time when she said oh i think you need to take a drink she was like but it's only coffee here and they think that she burned up by alcohol but she said that it was only coffee there so i feel like it's Mel like i feel like it's melanie man i feel like but it's melanie i still don't know how to use them master you worry too much I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution hmm. keys are important to solving mysteries. Okay. Yours it's... truly is important too. Okay, a solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story sure, along. You got all that down. Hmm. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking out out. Try checking one out. If a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve, there's bound to be some useful information. Hmm. Tutorial so cover. labyrinth skills are abilities that can help clear you. Help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you can get when your detective rank increases. Hey, okay. Lab okay, so we got a skill tree. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. So we got a skill tree. So let's do this. I want to look at the skill tree. Really turn out fine. Hmm, let's see. I like how this looks on the outside, though. It's a little weird, but it's cool. Hmm. I like the colors and everything. I'm liking the vibe here. I like it. I like it. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. Mm -hmm. It sure looks creepy. I like hey, it. If we keep going, 
Will we really get to the truth? Come on, <laughs> would I lie to you? Maybe. I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So let's go. Okay. Oh, for mysteries right now. Um, excuse me. You're what? Right, exactly. I'm not trying to do nothing to you, girl. Write this down. Okay, so we can just move around. Okay. But oops, nope. Let's not do that. Uh, that's not it. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's look at my abilities okay, really on, quick. All right, so this is a skill tree, is. got it. All right, so skills. Let's go ahead and increase, how many do I have? Let's, yes. Okay, I had four, so let's let's get to that. Okay, Um. let's see, okay, this one, let's do that. Let's just make everything up. Oh shoot, I did it twice. Okay, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. During Shinigami puzzle sequence to slow down the rotation speed of Shinigami's barrel or a reasoning deathmatch, reduce the number of colored words, statements making it clearly identify what to repel. Let me do that, because that sounds more interesting. All right, and let's leave. Okay, so I got that. My status, okay. Lower assist recovery time, okay. So I have that, that's my skill, okay. And Shinigami puzzle sequences. Let's let's. Well, I only have four anyway, so let's let's get all of these. Boop boop boop, and let's get that. There we go. So now we have four skills. There we go. Good good good. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. Oh. Ooh, this is this is cool. I like it. I like how it's changing up. I like that, that is cool. Okay, am I ever gonna get to the end of this? Like ever? Is it gonna just keep going? Okay, there we go. All right. Wait, did something move just now? Right. Oh, that's a cue. A cue? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? Right. They're not exactly monsters. Hmm. You are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. Huh. You have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. Okay, so they're like little Here's robots. The mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. Oh. So in other words, they're the enemy. So I gotta beat them. As a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. When will I get to the end of this? Do I have to like... Okay, that's looking a little different. Never mind, let me just keep going. Let me just keep going. Okay, this isn't changing. Okay, good. So let me just keep running. Oh, is that a cue? What, what is that? What is, oh my, oh my? Oh, oh, oh. That looks like the money dude, but like a punk rocker. Oh my God, not you. Doing that, I don't want to see that. There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. Hmm. A mystery phantom? What's that? Why does this place have so many enemies? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Yes. Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. Oh, so he's trying to That's interfere. A mystery phantom. Interfering hmm. with the case? Hey. Doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? Exactly. If peacekeepers are tied up in this. Then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Hmm. You. You're the culprit. Oh? Uh oh. Don't tell me I have to fight him, because if I do, I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to fight him. Oh, he's getting bigger. He's getting bigger. Oh, Lord. Why he look like he about to perform a kiss song? Like, what? Since what's going on? The passengers on the train are dead. Mm -hmm. Good. Could have done the crime. You're bad at your job, cause so no. You're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. No, I'm not. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. Exactly. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. Okay. Oh, I do. What, should I just run away? No. If a detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Okay, defeat let's see. Him? How? Uh, punch Master, his ass. Are you ready to give your life for the truth? Yes. Huh? Yes, I am. Just say, I am. I am. I am. I, I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's about to happen? Oh, girl. Oh, Lord. What are you about to do now? What are you doing? 
and what, what are you trying to seduce me? Are you trying to seduce me? What's going on? It looks like it's working for him. Oh? Hmm. So what are we doing here? Oh my god. Not her having the deep throat gawk gawk 2000. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her looking satisfied. What is going on? What? A sword? I call it the solution blade. Oh. It's a sword with special powers <laughs> to affect things inside the mystery. Oh, it's definitely going to solve something. <laughs> to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. I'm ready. Let's Whoa, go. Slow down. Uh, how do we use this? Slash him with it. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. Let's do it. You take here is nothing to sniff at. Hmm. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still, the more hmm. and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here, oh boy. Oh, so if I get hurt here, my mind is gonna think I'm actually getting hurt, so no, I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna hurt me. Dead. Right. Maybe game over. Time to start from the beginning again. Oh hell no. No one wants that, so you better be super careful. Oh god. Come on. Okay, so traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them and master stamina will decrease. Okay, it's game over when the stamina runs out, so be careful as you uncover the truth. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, so let's go. I've been waiting to fight your ass. Let's go. Did he just glitch out? What happened? Is this a glitch? Did I break the game? Okay, okay, he's good. Okay, I got I got so scared. Woo! Reasoning death match. Let's go. Okay, re during the reasoning death match, an RDM. A mystery phantom will attack master while making statements about the case. Okay, so we could dodge. Oh lord. Y'all know I'm not good at dodging. Okay, dodge upward, downward, left or right, and then a rebuttal is X. Okay. This is getting hit by statement means taking damage. So move up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Track it carefully and dodge. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you got the guts. The bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap of how much you can get. Oh, that's great. Okay. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantoms. Okay, so this feels like a trial. This feels like a trial from Danganronpa. Okay. To expose the contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution key. The key is already set in solution blade this time, so find a contradictory, inflammable statement and slash it. If you slash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery phantom. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly advice from yours truly. Y'all, I, I might just take some damage in this in this thing. I feel like I, cause in Danganronpa, like I knew what I meant, like with the contradictory stuff and trying to find it, but it's like, I need to find the right one that fits in the game and it, it might be completely different. So, I don't know. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, what you gonna do? Uh-uh, okay. Uh-uh, no I'm not. Okay. No, I didn't. Nope. Okay, I gotta go up. Okay. Uh-huh, that's true. Uh, no. No. Right. Let's slash through that. Cause no, I'm not. No, there's no way I could have done it. Exactly. I was the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. Mm -hmm. no uh, what? Is wrong. How? How so? How so? Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So it looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between RDMs. Use the correct key and slash through the contradiction in the flammable statement. Okay. So. Oh, I gotta switch the keys. I already mentioned this, but attacking with the wrong. So, okay, I gotta switch the keys. Okay. So let's see. Testimonies of two detectives. Hmm. Hmm. Or what's the other one? No! Whoa, whoa! Okay, damn it. No. Oh, wait. 
Okay. No, they weren't. No. Okay, so that's testimonies of two detectives. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the testimony of two detectives? What is that one? Okay, Apex and Poochie's Fortes proved there were no other passengers besides the six people. Okay, so that's no other passengers or the image on the cell phone that clearly shows me drinking the coffee cup. Okay, okay, so let's do that one. Okay. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Nope. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, got him. There we go. Let's get it. Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. Mm -hmm. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Exactly. Exactly. Sit your ass down. Yup. Bye. Okay, is that is that it? Is it just a one hit? Did I defeat it? I guess. Yeah. No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine as long as I'm here. Okay. She tried to frame me as the culprit. He sure did. He's just bad at his what job. Omnitrosa Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's hmm. why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. Hmm. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? I'm pretty sure they're trying to test me out to see if or I have the hired by them. Right. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. Mm -hmm. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Mm -hmm. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we hmm. one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this Let's up go. and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You know what? I kind of like the dodging. This, my life is at stake here. I kind of like the way that we're like doing this instead of it being like a court setting. I kind of like this. I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries giving shape. Mm -hmm. What do you do here, Shinigami? Simply hmm. put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. Oh. And the progress you've made in the mystery mm -hmm. labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to me. Well, thank you, Shinigami. How are you able to do this? Right. I don't know what to tell you. Always been able to do this, so I forgot how. I mean, she is a death god, so let's not forget that. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm human. I'm sorry, I'm human. Dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Right. Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. Are you sure? Just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Oh, excuse me. You didn't say that before. You did not say that before, Shinny. Who do you think is the culprit? I think it's oh, Melanie, yeah. If the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead. But can we get into their memories or something? Very seriously. Right? Like, can we get into their memories or anything? Because it's making me think it's Melanie because she said it was only coffee, but yet... They said that she burned up by the alcohol, but where was the alcohol at when I was drinking coffee? Like, where, like, where was that at? This place. Hmm. Oh, this place is cool. The path is forked in two. Hmm. Which way should I go? I gotta choose one, don't I? This also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. Oh. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Hmm. Huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Oh, oh, a uh, sign. Okay. Oh! Did she just kill me? Blood! Blood! Quit overreacting, Master. This is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. What? Anyway, take a look. I use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Oh my that god. That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. I'm gonna need Shinny to give me like a Six warning. Okay. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If Correct. If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. Oh, uh-uh. If I uh -uh. think the culprit is one of the six on board, yes. I need to take the left path that says yes. Oh, that's easy for me. Which is it? I know which one. It's it's the yes. We're going There's to we're going to go to yes. Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery labyrinth. Choose the correct answers to take me to the truth. Okay. 
Boom. Yes, the, the killer is still on board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going so that way. You think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Yes, because it never stopped. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Uh-huh. Oh, another phantom? Maybe? Okay, let's go. Hmm. I like this way. This is like a different like way of doing like the court and investigation and all that stuff. Can I go through now? Hmm. Oh, you got it right? Not hey. All, Let's go. I knew it. I knew it. Let's go. Oh, here your fa Okay. You know what? I'm not I'm not going to shame him, but here go his his ass Something again. Something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? Hmm. Yep. Get him, Seeing him means that I'm doing something correct. So I'm not even worried about that. All right, reasoning death match. Let's go. All right, let's see mine. Okay. So wait a minute. Let's look at this. Let's look at these. Okay. So that's still saying six people, and then the map. The map of the train shows it was compromised of five cars. So let's go with this one. Okay. Uh-uh, no, it's not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Nope. 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 Because they confirmed that there was nobody else there. Thank you, sir. Back it up. Hmm. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. Yep. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. Mm-hmm. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Exactly. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! How? How? Okay, so I lost I lost some points from that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What good does that do? Oh no, I didn't. I was correct. Okay. So this one says. Peacekeeper death report. The victims all burned to death according to the peacekeeper's report or according to the law, the train did not stop once. It is extremely unlikely that someone boarded the train while it was in motion. Let me, I feel like that one is the one. Nope. Okay. Nope. I don't think so. Uh, oh, shoot. I was about to go right back to it. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I hit it. Okay. You secretly stopped the train and let your partner pull. No, 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 sir. No, sir. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. So, shut up. The backup controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And mm -hmm. the doors won't open unless the train stops. Hello. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hitting your ass with facts. Slashing that ass with facts. Now go. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, master. Of course I am. Learn to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. Are you getting turned on? Make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. Right. All right, let's keep going. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth. Uh huh. Wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Possibility. Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. Okay, now they're making me question everything. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self will. It can't hmm. lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. Okay, so it can only show this me the truth. It's a direct manifestation of a mystery. Hmm. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Okay. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, yes. how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Or they probably were faking being dead. You know, like the one that said that her powers involve dead people, which is Melanie. Melanie, I said Melanie, I'm sorry. I'm getting her name wrong. I'm being disrespectful. <laughs> this another path? Okay. This is how we reach the truth. Mm -hmm. it reflects how problems are really solved. Death. Well, hmm. I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. I think you did. Doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Mm-hmm. So get my blood again. Just go ahead, cut me up. There we go. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Okay, they played dead. Yep. Safe. Okay, this time yours truly is going to help think it. Oh, oh, Lord. It says, you could just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guy. Yeah. It said, that'd be a big help. Okay. 
So, commit? did they commit suicide after the crime? Or everyone, or they played dead? Now, possibility. They could have played dead. Malami could have played dead because she does makeup and stuff, right? Like, I'm, I don't know, man. Did she commit suicide after the crime? She could have. She could have. Okay, let me let me go over to her because they did say that I have to like rely on her. So what was she doing? Come on. She said, "I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet." Okay. Uh. I guess I'll think about the opposite door. Hmm. So let's see. Let's think about this. Oh, I got it. Okay. So what's up? Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Okay. Yes. Oh. So she's chained to me. She, I have no choice. Okay. But I was already thinking that Melanie was playing dead anyway because she might be good with makeup. So. The culprit just played dead. Mm -hmm. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Mm -hmm. And that's no fun at all. That's, oh, that's, that's true. Your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? Hmm. I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Okay, Our so we're chained together. Can never be broken apart. Okay, so I'm stuck with That's you. That's terrible. <laughs> Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. Oh my gosh. Girl, I mean, she is cute. I ain't gonna lie. She a baddie. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way. Girl, you're not even walking. You're floating. I ask you to do that. Right, you're floating the whole time. Talk about some you getting tired. I'm the one that actually got to run and use my feet. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? Hmm. No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Oh, really? Hmm. So you might put me in a dead end right now. Is what you're saying. Whoa, okay. Ooh. See, what did Ooh. I tell you? Dead end. Uh oh. I'm so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. Hmm. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. So she oh, might have. So huh. The answer isn't played dead. So she chose. I'll say they're not playing dead. Okay, so I'll think it too you much on that. You changed your mind already. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So awesome. I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Huh. You could have said that a little earlier. Right, so now I know. Oh, but I like when you rely on me, Master. I'm not gonna rely on you no more. You got anyway, me twisted. What's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Hmm. Time is stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. Hmm. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if huh. we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Yeah. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Hmm. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Hmm. Which is lies just Even sitting there. Unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. Yeah, the lies will just circulate. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. Hmm. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Hmm. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Hmm. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much like how it happens in real life too. If you don't prove something incorrect, people will just run with it forever, and that will become the truth. The lie will become a truth. Hmm. Ah, we're finally back. All right, so now we gotta go to the other one. Suicide after the crime. Hmm. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Hmm. But let's see. Let's go over here. So, how did they commit suicide? Is the question. Careful. All right, let's keep going. After the crime would mean you'd be the last one to die. After killing the other four. Right. The culprit killed himself, right? Correct. Is that really the right answer? Hmm. The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one root, it's the only possibility. Hmm. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. And we just need to find that suicidal pest. So they're all actually dead dead. Okay, so I'm not going to see none of them no more. That's kind of sad. I got introduced to them and they got off in the first episode. It feels like every other anime. Like, <laughs> like don't make me like 
feel or try to see what somebody is like and then they're dead. Lord. Hmm. This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Okay. Okay, so is this like the little card thing like from Danganronpa where I gotta like go certain routes? Maybe? Come on, concentrate, concentrate! Concentrate on what? Okay, who was the last person to die during the incident? Oh my god, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Uh, the culprit? Okay, obviously the culprit. Okay, got it. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Exactly. Hey. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they caught themselves already. Exactly. Nice work. Hmm. Okay, so the next one, next one. Let's, try again. Let's do it again. Who set fire to the dead culprit? Okay. The culprit. The culprit. Right. The culprit. Of course. Mm -hmm. The person who started the fires must be the culprit. They off themselves. Five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Who was the last person to be burned to death? I think it was Melanie. <laughs> oh, wait. Or it might have been Apex. Huh. We're gonna crash. Oh, that was wrong? See, I didn't think that... Look, I didn't think it was any of them. So it didn't matter which one I chose. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So it's not... Okay, so it's not Apex. Who's the last one? Maybe it was Zilch because he was in a room by himself. Huh. Damn, I was wrong the whole time. Damn, Melamy. Damn. But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, hmm. why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't they discover his body first? But it was locked. Peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? And his was a stab. When we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. Oh, yes, high key. Means, that means he must have burned to death after that. Hmm. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. And he was still burning. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Wow. Wow, that's true. The culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Hmm. Starting from Carl Started five, with that one first. Killed them in order one by one. Wow. So Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit. Hmm. But he committed suicide, huh? Damn, I was so wrong. Melamy, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. I'm so sorry, Melamy. Okay. The, the door. Hmm. I am so <laughs> I am so sorry. I was thinking way too hard, bro. I was thinking way too hard. I feel like this is like the same thing of like when I was like trying to pin it on a little little man like in Dang and Rampa and I was like it has to be him and it wasn't. I feel so bad. See, I told you it would be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm so yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what the goal looks like. Cool. Is that the end of it? Hmm. Yes, that's everything. Easier than I thought. Hmm. Um, what's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. Like it was too Maybe easy? Guys? You think so? Hmm. Oh? He got oh? He gets to go? Uh, what's going on? Let's see. Conclusion. Zilch killed the other the four and set fire to himself. Is this the truth behind the case? I'm yeah, guessing no. More other options right maybe this really is the end kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying exactly well, i hope this was a helpful tutorial for you Master. tutorial wait mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case including things like misdirection right? oh which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead they're making us. me question everything it's so, impossible <laughs> this is the truth? what makes you say that Hmm. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, right. then this door could be a fake. Hmm. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. Oh? And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. Hmm. I don't want to affect your judgment. I feel like this is going to be like a judgment. roller coaster for like my logic. Like the way that I overthink stuff. And now they're throwing in these other possibilities that these fake doors or fake goals could be at the end. 
It's gonna make me think so many different things. I so guess many. The only way to find out is to destroy it. How hmm. do I do that? With the sword? The solution sword? Do I take that out? Okay, open it and demolish it. Let's see. Let's so see. Was fake. Hmm. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Am I wrong? Okay, there we go. Gotta fight your ass again. Here we go. Yep, I'm doing the right thing. You said it just quit while you were ahead. You look like, you know what? <laughs> He looks like the thing that like you see in your uh like sleep paralysis. Like when you're in sleep paralysis and you can't move, like he pops up. Like that would be like the scariest thing. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. Hmm. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Exactly, and this is my first time. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. You still want money? I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. You're just so big and greedy, bruh. Like, are you sure you're not gluttony? All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm down. All right. This is Mystery Phantoms Throw Out Noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way. So use Master Solution Blade to cut them down. Okay, okay. So I can just slash noise. The more noise destroyed, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So when it pops up in front of you, be aggressive and attack. The bonus for destroying noise is based on the max amount you destroy in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, now let's look at let's look at the clues. Let's look at, let's look at the clues first. Okay, the knife and the corpse. It says the knife stuck in Zilch's chest. It was deeply embedded and could certainly have caused a fatal wound. Or Melamy's corpse. It was burnt to a crisp, but face is still barely recognizable. Hmm. I'ma just. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one. I'ma just keep it there until I see everything. So let's get back. Okay. It must be mm -mm. Nope. Reason is obvious. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get off. Oh, okay. Um, no. He burned the four passed out victims. Huh. Let's then jump over that. Uh-huh. And died from immolation. Whoa! No, no, no. No, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. Nope. The knife. The knife. There we go. That's why I waited. That's why I waited. Let's go. Mm-hmm. No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Exactly. I saw Zilch Cause what was the point window, of the knife? There was a knife in his chest. Mm-hmm. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you little brat. Mm-hmm. I'll answer you. Yeah, give me, give me, give me the answer. What's up? Okay, okay, okay. So let's let's look, let's look, let's look at things. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, this says blood stains on the interior lock. The infirmary in car five was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spattered on the interior lock. That might be something. Coffee with a knockout drug mixed into it. You want to pass that out to drinking this. It's potent enough to render anyone unconscious immediately after in ingestion. Okay, so let's just keep that. The knife stuck in the body. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so why is it? Uh-uh. No, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I know which one I know which one to get. I know which one to get. That would be the one. Yeah, excuse me. How? It sure is. I definitely don't want to. Huh. Let's, let's duck. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, so. Nope. Okay. Let's jump over that. Okay, so let's do it again. He says, so he stabbed himself with a knife because there was no other way to knock himself out. It's no, it's the coffee. It's the coffee. Okay. So let's, let's, yep. Okay, so let's fast forward. All right. Okay, there we go. That's what made me. Okay, there we go. There we go. It wasn't it wasn't red automatically, so the coffee could knock him out. If his plan was to fall unconscious, he would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. If he knew. That's a much easier way to pass out. Right. With no pain. Get your ass out of here. Thank you. Okay, so me being right about Melamine might still be correct. Maybe it might still be correct. I'm still on her head. <laughs> I see. 
Hmm. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Hmm. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zochi's corpse in the first car is different. Exactly. It looked more like he was stabbed to then death. Then they burned him after. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they have no reason to do that. To throw me off. To, to test me. Culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. Hmm. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. Zilch probably saw the culprit doing it and she killed him. I don't I know. get it. So that's what was bothering me. Hmm. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Hmm. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. Exactly. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body. But I was too preoccupied with calling for help. I mean, I try to look at everything, so. so. We're stuck right here. Hmm. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But hmm. I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. Mm -hmm. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Uh, might maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is. Oh, you gonna let me look? Try to avoid using it as much as possible. Oh, oh you gonna let me look? I just love it when you rely on me, Master. Uh oh. Okay, so what's happening now? I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? Rewind time. This is all for you, Master. What is she doing? Ready, Master? Oh, oh my God! I meant she was winding up a punch this whole time. She just be beat my ass. She sliced me to get my blood. She punched. She winded me uh, to get a punch. Ow. Gee, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery. Oh, memory. so not necessarily going back in time, yes, but using what I already my saw. Super cute special weapon. Okay, see? I see. If you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Hmm. Oh. The shock from all this is making my head spin. <laughs> yeah, time to waste, Master. Hmm. This is pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You Let's have until see. the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Okay. Got it. I'll hurry. All right, let's look around. Let's look around. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh? What's it says? Crime scene recreation. Hmm. Okay, let's look at that. This blanket is mostly burned, hmm. but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It hmm. doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But hmm. how could that be? Because they, huh? A burnt blanket that was placed over the corpse, but there's no blood on it. So was it, was the body burned then she stabbed him? I don't know. Oh, so I can get solution keys here. You may hmm. have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. Hmm. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? Hmm. You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Huh. What else happened? Okay, okay, let's look around, let's look around, let's look around. Okay. Uh, oh, let's look at that. Okay, the cushion. Hey. Okay, there should be new info inside. This won't hold out for too long. Crape and investigate it. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Huh? This cushion, was it always there? Oh, they stabbed through the pillow. So it looks like it has hmm. a hole in the middle of it. Hmm. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Hmm. It's a cushion next to the bed. It has a hole in it. Okay. So they, they stabbed through it to make it not have any blood. Hmm. Is that it? Is that the only two things that we missed? Okay. Oh. It's fading. I hmm. guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find any? Yeah, yep. I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Hmm. Ah, and this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. I have it. That's the well, thing. If you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do hmm. what? Do what? Or when you're stuck in your deductions. What is Remember it? Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. Okay. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Hmm. Working together? Lay it all out, master. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a cute barrel. That is cute. 
It's like a yassified Donkey Kong barrel. <laughs> oh, we're on a beach. Oh. Oh. Okay, you're cute. <laughs> this says cushion with hole. What? What? Shinigami puzzle. Okay. The Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. Okay, so we can move the pointer, grab the solution key, throw a blade, zoom in and zoom out. Okay, this is like a lot. The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Read the question and knock out the letters in the right order and make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. If you can knock out the letters in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that'll open up a path. By the way, if you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth. But there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Ooh, okay. So let's see, Detective Zilch's death was actually a, huh, let's look at this. Okay, let's feed that. Let's feed this to you. Okay, what does that do? What does that do? So he used the cushion to block the knife pretending to be dead. Hmm, it was actually a, let's see, let's see, let's look at this. Something herring. Oh, a red herring, is that it? The, the phrase, red herring, okay, bull. Ah, ah, that, okay, red herring, red herring. I remember that that uh, that phrase, I forgot about it. It's such an old timey phrase, okay. It's a red herring, it's a red herring. Okay, I need a D, D, give me the D, give me the D. Pause, 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 I'm sorry. There we go, red herring. I like that. Okay, cute. It was a red herring, hmm. Oh my God. Her power is, her whole existence is just crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got a chest. Let's see. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But, but it in wasn't. in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. Mm -hmm. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it even though the cushion was stabbed through. Hmm. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Okay. Uh-huh, let's go forward and get that open. What's that? This is a fun way of discovering. Okay, Zilch's death was just a red herring to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. Hmm. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. He was still kind of alive. Zilch was faking his death to fool us. Huh. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But hmm. the peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So Culprit he was still kind of alive. It's exactly what I said. So he was playing. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my gosh. That dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Wow. This game is gonna take me all over the place. I, I can't, I see I can't try to think logically here because it's gonna be things that I have to uncover that's fake and be wrong in order to uncover the truth. That's what it's seeming like. Okay, so let's go back. Damn, I, I can't even get in a cart. I can't get a, I can't get a, a shuttle for me to go over here. Okay. Uh, What's wrong? Too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. Right? I don't want to walk anymore. That's what I'm saying. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. Right, you're I'm floating. Just effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Yeah, but can I we? No, I have a convenient transportation method, thanks to my awesomeness. Okay. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Mm. Now is the perfect time to use it. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Huh? What's convenient? Zoom or eat? Zoom. Okay, there we go. See? Super easy. Hmm. Yeah. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Okay, so we can't drain use it all the time. Of what? Do you have MP or something? Right. Your lifespan. Oh, and excuse me. Again? So we pass through. How did the culprit pull it off, Junction? Hmm. And I've taken the play dead turn again. Mm -hmm. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Okay. This 
game's gonna take me everywhere. I actually am not gonna solve these things easily. <laughs> hmm. Okay, solution what proves? Okay, select the solution key. Okay, bet, bet. Okay, use solution key. Uh, the red. Oh, oh, the red herring. There we go. All right, here we go. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Hmm. That's crazy. This is crazy. Zilch, Zilch for real? That did everybody in? That's crazy. A bridge. Hmm. See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. Okay. So amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. I will when we get out of this live, okay? Well, maybe later. Right. All right, let's go forward, man. This is taking me everywhere. My mind is going crazy. We opened the play dead route thanks to the corpse red hair and solution key. Mm -hmm. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. Hmm. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. Hmm. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? That's why we gotta hit him with straight facts. If Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> hmm, what does she know that we don't know? Oh, the ground, it's falling apart. We gotta hurry up. Run right, we gotta hurry up. Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Okay, so let's keep running. Whoa. Hmm. So are we just dead? Oh, we gotta hop through some. Not us jumping to conclusions in this. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We just jumping to conclusions. Boom. <laughs> okay. What was what Yumi saw through the window actually zilch? It could probably... Yes? Okay. So yes, it was. When I saw zilch through okay. the window. He was faking his death with a knife through the cushion. Mm -hmm. That was definitely the real Zilk. Hmm. Because if it wasn't, we no reason to fake it. Was the burnt corpse in car one actually Zilch? Yes, because why would he fake it if... If not... What? Why would he fake it if it's not the real Zilch? Because then it would, it would be no point... Oh. I see, that's how it doesn't have, okay. That, that's how it doesn't have blood. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So let's continue. The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. Huh. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Huh. He said Zilch swapped places with the corpse in the infirmary. Oh, shoot! Okay, oh! Uh I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just chose one. I just chose one because I couldn't think straight. It was it was it was like I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time to think, man. Okay, he swapped places with the corpse before. The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. Hmm. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch hmm. used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Oh. But in the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Hmm. Is that wrong too, or are we good? This game is trippy. This game is trippy. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Okay. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Exactly. What are you thinking? If he needed hmm. to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Hmm. Oh, spot? Oh, Lord. What place is suspicious? 
Underneath it, underneath the body. Okay, use the on-screen cursor to select to select the spot that answers the question. You can pick the spots when where the icon changes. Picking the wrong spot means taking damage. Okay. I'm thinking underneath here because that's the only place because it's covering it up. That's it. Mm-hmm. Blood corpse was hidden right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey. What's that? Are y'all trying to take me away? Cause I'm right. What's going on? Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. Okay. Yummy, you might be fine because you're floating around. Exactly. This is really tough for me. I gotta, I gotta have stamina for this. I can't believe it. You had the corpse hidden under the blanket. So oh, whose corpse that is that? Detective was sleeping next to a dead body. Oh my I'm god. So god Shinny, there's I'm something wrong with you. I didn't hear that. Right. Cause why? Okay, what is this now? Huh. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. Yep, and then hid underneath. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. Hmm. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Wow. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access. Hmm. Which must mean a place with easy he access. Bed. He could have quickly hid there. Right. Which means if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Right. I'm thinking, what other then, than? I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detect. I'm sure he hmm. calculated all that too. He knew I panicked. Because I don't know anything because I have amnesia. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. Hmm. And that's why he let you in. Or let you take the fall. Yeah. I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. Hmm. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary. So he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. Exactly. He passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Hmm. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? That is very yeah. true. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. And plus, yeah. I don't know. I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Hmm. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memory. I'm wondering if he knew that I was a big shot detective and knew my powers of knowing other people's powers before everybody else. And that's why he wants to set me up to try to put me away because it'll hinder his whatever he's trying to do. No. If hmm. I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I mean, how are you supposed to know? It didn't let me check everything. So how are you supposed to know? By the way... Where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? Correct, that's what I'm trying Is to figure corpse? out. Well, uh... Hmm. That's what I'm trying to figure out, because I'm like, okay, so if he took another what? corpse, whose Again? body is that? Hmm. I won't let you go any further. Hmm. Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Okay. Yes, you will. Okay. She's sticking up for you. All right, let's get it. He ain't tired of seeing his ass. <laughs> All right, let's get this done and over with again. All right, let's see. Master, hmm? I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Oh, really? Assist? Hmm. It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, master. You weren't doing it before? What the? <laughs> okay. By using assist, your partner inside the mystery labyrinth will help out. When a partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement won't inflict any damage. So use it to take a closer look at what they're saying. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a lot right there. Okay. Let's look at these first. Okay. It was burnt to a crisp, but the face is barely recognizable. Okay. Uh-huh. The face was beyond recognition. The entire body is burnt to a crisp. Okay, let's just keep this one. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's just nothing. Let's just let's just get out of there. You think he swapped with a corpse? Yes. Can it be impossible to switch like that? Hmm. Why is it? Uh-huh. Oh, oh. 
That's very true. Let's see. Ah, okay. It would have been bad at the station. Hmm. It'd be impossible to get it on board. Would it? Would it really? There's no corpse to replace anyway. There's no corpse to replace. Hmm. Was I wrong on that one? We were sure the body was slapped. There had to be a replacement corpse. Weren't there a bunch of corpses on the train? Couldn't he have just used one of those? Hmm. That's true. Hmm. Huh. So let's see. Let's see. Let's look at the solution keys. Okay. So it had to be the same size. So maybe this one, similar to Zilch's body. Okay, there we go. So let's use Apex's corpse. Okay. Okay, so they could have used Apex's corpse. I keep trying not to say Apex. Apex's corpse. Because it needs to be the same size. Mm-hmm. Someone who can replace Silt. Okay. Let's see. The same size as him. Okay, cool. So we got one. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. Let's go ahead and Ah! Oh, it's it's his not the cor mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that person's corpse was burned beyond recognition, so maybe it could have been used as a replacement. It would have been understand unnecessary to bring a corpse in from the outside in the first place. So they I were still there. I need to let it just just go through. That's what I need to do. I just need to let it just go through. Mm-hmm. That one's going really slow. Let's just let's just fast forward there. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay, let's get that. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Now I slashed the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. All right, there it is. See what I said when I know what I'm trying to say, but I be slashing the wrong stuff. Need to bring extra corpse for the swap. Mm -hmm. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. And I think that Apex was first. It's Apex's body from the fifth car. Mm -hmm. He and Zilch are nearly the same height. Mm -hmm. And both have stab wounds in their chests. Yep. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's. Yep, because they already had a stab wound. How could someone like you find the truth? How could someone like you keep your tongue out for that long? Put it back. Put your tongue back. Are we done seeing you? Okay, I think he's done for real. I think he's done for real this time. Sheesh. All right, now let's get up out of here. I'm happy about that too, Shinny. Right. If that's true, don't let your guard down. Mystery Labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Okay, let's go. Let's get up there. We finally done with his ass. Wow. Hmm. Who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Hmm. Speaking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. Yep. The, the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Apex. That's that true. That be what the necklace was for, so I could identify it. Hmm. Well, Using a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. And I was thinking that to myself, like when Apex's body was like burned. Well, when we saw it, the necklace was like not even damaged. So that's what made me think, like, why wouldn't the necklace like melt I mean, or something? We gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Are we on a train? Oh wait, no, no, no. Is this the? Is this a train in my mind? Okay, this is this is their train. Okay, got it. So now I'm on the top of here. Now I'm playing Subway Surfer. Okay. Silt? Oh. Wait. I am not the culprit. Oh. I am a victim who was already killed. Hmm. So leave me alone. No, we're chasing that ass. Don't you run. Mm -hmm. After him, master. Yep, definitely. Yeah. We coming, we coming. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me. Hmm. But Apex? But you yes. went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. No, I just saw How was a the necklace. transported from car one to car five? That didn't require moving past you. Hmm. That's very true. Sorry, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? Hmm. Let's see, when did that happen? Maybe, maybe when I was knocked out, right? When I was knocked out, that was when you'd have to do it. Hmm. 
Hmm. When I was knocked out and I was in the bathroom and you were checking. Okay. Where are we now? This place is just vast. This place is just very vast. Okay, let's keep going forward. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. All right, we in the fork in the road. You know what? This is reminding me of Only Up. I don't like this. This says, where did he run off to? When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit moved through the train or did not move through the train? He moved through the train, right? Another mystery that needs to be solved. Hmm. He moved through the train. Yeah. There we go. Right? Right? Thinking about it rationally. Mm -hmm. We have to assume because it never stops. No, that's impossible. How? Impossible. Impossible. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I'm right impossible. now. Impossible. Okay. Yeah. Right. Impossible. Impossible. Oh, you glitching? Impossible. Impossible. Oh, you, oh my God. Oh, oh, okay. What's up then? What's up then? Let's do it. Cause that's definitely the right answer. You just trying to throw me off. Uh, Zeus turned into a mystery phantom. Hmm. Uh huh. Let's do it. Let's. Do oh, not you doing a JoJo pose? <laughs> doing a little. You know? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Hold on one second. One second. Okay. This says there's a blackout and shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. Okay. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Okay, so let's do that one. Okay. Can't get from car one to car five. Yes, it can. Just think about it. Hmm. The train's halls are quite narrow. Uh huh. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Mm hmm. Lugging a corpse through the hallway. Uh huh. Is what? Certainly, I've noticed. Hmm. That nope, I was not cool. Though. Is all wrong. That's not true. I'll say it once more. Mm hmm. Okay. Do not let's transport move. the corpse from car one to car five. Hmm. That's true. So that's true. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. That's if true. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me, too. Hmm. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. Hmm. If you're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. Hmm. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are hmm. you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. No, it's not. We're going to figure it out together. Because I'm still kind of confused, Haiki. Hmm. If they didn't pass through the train. Okay. Did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? Maybe. The windows are all locked shut. That's true. The door is locked when the train is moving. Mm -hmm. We know the train never stopped once. That's true. If the windows and doors are shut, uh huh. There's no way to get out while the train is moving. Hmm. No issues occur during the train. Uh -uh. Back it up. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. That's what I was waiting for. Yep. Shut up. Cause it definitely went out. Hmm. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happens when I was in car two and car four. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Yep. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Mm. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Some gentle? <laughs> gentle? Okay. All right, if you want to call it that. All right, let's look this up. That might It might be the backup control system. Okay, that's a distorted plate. Okay. The bloodless, but I don't think that's it. The back of control system, it might be that one. In the blackout. Hmm. They were nothing but coincidences. Oh, were they? The blackout was just a bad contact. Uh-uh. Wait, what? Can I? Oh, Jesus. The okay. The tunnel air pressure. Hmm. No, it There's wasn't. nothing odd about that. Huh. Let's see. It's all just a coincidence. Uh-huh. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Let's see. 
Okay, I know it's a slash. So it could, could such a carefully calculated crime really all be coincidence? It's no coincidence they planned for. Okay, so let's slash the thing that I was trying to slash. Let's see. No, it wasn't. Okay, there we go. Got it. There we go. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm, got your ass again. Let's go. I tried to get it the first time, but I was too late. So. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It mm -hmm. was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, oh, we're not done with him. He's not finished. Exactly. Hmm. All right, let's do it. And here go that damn chain again, Lord. Hmm. You may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? I'm trying to figure that out. Control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. Hmm. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. That's what I'm Intellect thinking. Intellect attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. Hmm. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. Exactly. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. I think well, it was... Why did the main control system fail? That's what we're trying to figure out. It must have something to do with moving the box. But you're hmm. unsure exactly how. Huh. In that case... Uh-huh. It feels like I'm missing clues for me to understand what's going on. Oh! I knew it! The mystery is blocking you! Hmm. Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. Hmm. All right. Oh, Lord. Here we go. All right. What's it say now? The main control system was lost when car one was. See, this is the question we're facing right now. The main hmm. control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. Hmm. If that's true, what exactly happened? If Let's it's see. related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. I mean, I'm, I must be thinking hard. I'm trying to figure this out too, because it's confusing. I better think hard too. Hmm. Okay, girl. Control system failing. The blackout? Hmm. Train shaking? Because last time that you tried to figure something out, it was wrong. So. <laughs> Why did the train shake like that? There was hmm. a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But mm -hmm. the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened. Be oh, oh hmm. wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? Yes. After the whole train shook, the blackout... Girl, you're you're mixing me up. Stop. Yeah, I don't get it. Exactly, you're mixing me up as well. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was. It was strong enough to make the entire train shake. Hmm. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. Hmm. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh, huh. did give you the assistance you needed? I don't think so. Solving the case now? Not for me. Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing. Okay, let's see. Let's go, master. Lay it all. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. I kind of like doing these. I kind of like doing the filling in the blanks. Let's feed this one. Okay, what does that say? It was, I don't know, maybe, I, maybe, okay. Did it switch to the backup car? One. It was, maybe something happened. It was, it was the... Uh, do, detached? Detached? Is that what it was? Detached? Okay. Okay, I think that's it. I think I think it was detached. 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 Okay. Boom. D. Detached. Detached. A. Give me the A. Give me the A. Give me the A. Boom. Let me get the C. Okay. The R was in there to throw me off. Boop. Okay. Let me get. Let me get the. Let me get the H. Let me get the H. Okay. Give me the H. Give me that H. Okay, then eat. Oh, I can't even hit that. Okay, detached. That's what it was. Okay, there we go. There we go. Detached. 
Hey, we got it. Mm-hmm. I like her little tattoo there. That's so cute. <laughs> and then there we go. Okay, go ahead and blast that rock out of there. Hmm. Should it be that the first car was separated from the train? Ah. Oh. Separated? What? Seriously? Because we never went back. Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Mm-hmm. Let's keep going for now. She's like, let's see about that. Okay. Let's keep um, going. Master, I don't really get it. I don't either. What do you mean the first car was cut off? Hmm. The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Right. Huh? Yep, it shook. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, hmm. the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. Okay. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Exactly. Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. How would you do that? How would you do that? I'm confused. I'm confused. Hmm. It's bigger than ever. How much longer will this keep happening? I know. I feel like I'm gonna suffocate. It feels like we're at the end, but now we're not. The time to be suffocating. Hmm. All right, let's do it again. Again? Yep. You know, the body was transported along we with the entire the, mystery at hand. the entire Even car. The first car was cut off hmm. so that the body could be moved. Hmm. Right. I think I see what happened. Hmm. Like got it. Lay it all up, master. Okay, it was transported along with the entire car. Is that what it is? The entire car? Work together okay. As a team. The entire. Yes, okay, car. So I gotta get the A. Okay. I don't even need to look at the other stuff. Okay, let me get the A. Bam. Right. There we go. And then let's get R. Okay, boom. Nice. There we go. Hmm. I love this little animation. Oh, not you posing like this. Oh, the simps are gonna go crazy. <laughs> the simps are gonna go crazy. They're gonna be like, oh, I need that in my life. <laughs> mm hmm. Got your ass. Come here. That's Come right. here, stop running. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Mm-hmm. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, you done transformed? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it then. The first car is at the front of the train. Is it? His corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Nope, that's why you burned off the thing. How do you move it all the way to the rear? You you switch the things. Uh huh. You switch the signs. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. They sure do. Stay calm. Think. It's because of the plates. the position of the first and. It's because of the number plates. Okay. Can answer that. I can solve this mystery once and for all. Let's go. How did it happen? You swapped the plates. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout, mm -hmm. blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel and right after leaving it. Hmm. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? When it reconnected, I don't know. The, then too. the shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. Mm-hmm. Let's There's see. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Oh, no, I'm not. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. Okay, let's Your see, let's see, let's see. Aren't worth a damn thing. Oh, excuse me? You're out. You look, you know what? I was about to roast his outfit. I'm not even going to do that. I'm not going to do that. 
from the very beginning. Oh, was I? Was I? Well, I was, because I thought it was Melamy, so I needed to get off her head top. So yeah, he was right. I was wrong from the very beginning. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right. I think that it's the distorted plate. So, so. twice near the tunnel. Boop. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think it's that. Mm-hmm. So let's move. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does matter. Even let's see. If you manage to separate car one. Uh-huh. How could it be moved to the rear? Hmm. Let's see. The train was always running on the same tracks. That's true. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Wait, damn it. I know what I'm trying to say. Damn. I know what I'm trying to say. If there's only one track, there'd be no way to order switch the order of the cars. Okay. I know the solution. It's just... Okay. Let's, let's, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh. okay. I got hit. Okay. Boom. Okay. Let's jump over that. Even if you manage to separate car one. Uh-huh. How could it be moved to the rear? Okay, let's 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 fast forward that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, that was the last one? Okay. As long as it's running along the same track, car one and car five can't be swapped. Let's look over the info of solution keys. Okay, okay. So let's look at all of them. So the root map. Oh, there's like a. Oh, I see. There's like a little roundabout. So it is the root map. Okay, so there we go. Okay. All right. So let's let's fast forward this. Boop, boop. Okay, boop. There we go. Bop. Boop. Uh huh. Got it. Uh huh. Okay, there we go. Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. There we go. I thought it was the plates, but it's the, no, it's the map. There's like a little roundabout. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the uh -huh. same track. Uh-huh. So I see. So when the when the cars were going this way, say it's going this way, right? This went this way. They disconnected the other car, making the other car go around that other way to it's reattached at the end. Got it. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the trink. Yep, yep, got your ass. Got your ass. You better, you better go away. Stop playing with me, I'm a master detective. I was wrong a few times, but I got it eventually. <laughs> Hmm. The first time the train trip was before yep. entering the tunnel, there we go. was caused by car one separating. Mm -hmm. After that, the separated yep. car one entered and the then track. boom the again. The train proceeded on the main track. Exactly. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. Mm -hmm. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This yep. is when the train shook for the second time. Exactly. You're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, got your ass. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. Mm -hmm. The Amaterasu Express is special. Yep, it can do it on its own. will supply electricity is programmed and drive the train. Mm -hmm. If each train car can operate autonomously, mm -hmm. then car one can function on its own. I forgot about all of that. As far as like, I forgot about the Does map. Like, everything? I didn't it's know. I didn't know that the map was going to be important, no. but this lets me know everything That's is important. Crazy. Hmm. Huh? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Exactly. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. Uh-huh. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, uh -huh. but that doesn't exist. So, you're telling me no, it you doesn't? found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, no. You're right. Okay, there's no six. You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong. Is it though? No, I'm not wrong. Right. The truth lies just ahead of us. Hmm. I will prove it to you. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, we're doing another one. I like doing this one. I like doing this one with the barrels. It's cute. <laughs> I think this is the final one because that one had an extra animation that we didn't get the first two times. Okay. All right, that distorted plate. It said from the start, the Amaterasu was a. Tick -tock, tick -tock. 
Oh, it might have been six. It might have been six car train the whole time. Oh, nope. Okay, my bad. It might have been a... Was it four? A four car train? Okay, there we go. There we go. I was going to say it's either six, either one above or one under. Hmm. And there we go. It was a four star, star, four car train. There we go. This is so much. It's like, I can't solve these unless I have more information. There we go. Knock his ass down Maybe a bit. the Yamaturasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's why they look similar. Five cars the whole time, but instead four? Hmm. That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in training. Because it never belonged to it. But you can't huh. access the fifth. Because it never belonged to that one. So it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? Hmm. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Yeah. So the train took off with only four cars. And then they added one. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, hmm. then the train would have five cars again. Hmm. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. This is this is and just a lot. And questions by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Oh my god. See, there's no way for me to know that. And all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. Hmm. Or of course they were. That the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. Hmm. If there was another car one, then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary would be different from how I broke it. You mean when hmm. you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmaries so they huh. knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? That's crazy. They just doing mental gymnastics on me. Fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot. It was! The they wanted me to use it to break the window. I said that last episode. I said that last episode. I was like, okay, that one's already out. Like, there was another room where he had to physically go open it up to get it, but that was already sitting there. And I said that last yes, time. I pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. Hmm. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Yep. Isn't that right? Yep. Zilch. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Got his ass gone. There we go. All right. We're almost there. Let's catch this culprit. All right. Let's do it. Oh, wait. He didn't blow up, like, for sure. So we still got to face him one more time. Hmm. That was a pretty solid deduction. It took a lot for us to get there. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Impressive. Hmm. Of me for seeing your potential. Oh, really? Of you? It's okay. So strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. Mm-hmm. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in a WDO. I think he was. I think he was probably the highest. Maybe. Cause it seems like he right. can detect other people's powers, so maybe that might be a thing. Hmm. Okay, let's get up here. Let's see what's going on with these steps. Is this Everything the final boss area? Feels different here. Hmm. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Hmm. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. Wasn't it? It was very elaborate. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. Like magnets. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Hmm. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Maybe. Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Hmm. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's very That's true. What I'm worried about. Hmm. Okay. Even I didn't know I could move, y'all. I, I thought they were talking. Just okay. Saying and arrest me anyway. Hmm. I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Okay. I thought I was in a cutscene, man. I didn't know I could move this whole time. <laughs> so now it's gonna be a lot of time of them just like walking, I guess. Okay. There we go. They skipped me ahead because I didn't know. <laughs> What 
is this? Looks hmm. like a port to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. Yep. Just have to destroy it. Let's go. So the truth is here. Hmm. You can't have the truth. I don't like the way you posing and putting your junk towards it's me. Stop impossible that. Put it away. To destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Nope. No, I won't. Let's go. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, mm -hmm. you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Exactly. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. Hmm. After all, he did try to set you up. He sure I'm did. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's room kill time. I actually like Shinny. Shinny is just the chaotic energy that I need. Okay, let's go forward. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get it. Hmm. Is it gonna fall? Is the whole castle falling? Oh, y'all oh, doing a lot. Y'all are doing a lot right now. She need not even worry. She's like, that's okay. Oh? Oh? Are you gonna shoot me over it? Oh, you're gonna let me pilot you? <laughs> like she's a mech? <laughs> oh God, Shinigami, let's go. Let's go, girl. Okay, to overcome the last end of a phantom, tear through our obstacles with the mega-sized God. Great onset destroyer, which is me. Okay. Let's see, let's get through it, get through it. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Running them hills. <laughs> okay, oh, we could kick it, tackle, or jump. Okay, blast away the gigantic iron balls released from a phantom's fortress with the corresponding kick. When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the button to attack. Okay, missing the input timing means failure and taking damage to be careful. Okay, so we gotta kick it. Okay, get away. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta tackle the walls. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Let's go ahead and tackle that. Tackle, tackle! Oh, wait, I pressed X. I was pressing X. Y is something else. Okay, so jump to avoid that. Okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right. Let's jump over that. I got, I thought Y was another button, so let's press that. There we go. Let's go. Tackle through that. Tackle through that. Tackle through that. Let's go. Tackle through that. Uh-huh. Let's go. Please. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Destroy the wall with a solution key. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we gotta use the window. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, the distorted plate. There we go. Let's let's use that. Is that right? There we go. No, there are traces of a swamp. The warped plate from car five. Yep. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Uh huh. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. Exactly. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Mm hmm. There we go. There we go. We got this. We got this. We got this, Shinny. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. She looks so funny running. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. Boom. Get that out of there. Okay, and boom, get that out of there. All right, let's go, let's go. Tackle, there we go, tackle, there we go. Tackle, get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. There we go, jump. There we go, getting close to your ass. Boom, there we go, boom, boom. There we go, boom, there we go. Let's get out, boom, get out of the way. All right, let's get it. All right, what's it say? So there's nothing backing up your deduction. Are you sure? You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Hmm. Okay, with a solution key. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. So. Good luck, master. Maybe. Hmm. Not that. Not that. That one. There we go. There is proof. Mm-hmm. Blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. Mm-hmm. The culprit probably didn't notice it. Mm -hmm. But I remember it. It's my blood. Mm-hmm. 
When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. Mm -hmm. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. See, this is why I said we needed the blood like probably thing before. Missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was mm -hmm. found in car five. Mm -hmm. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. Exactly. There we go. This Come on, Shinny. The truth of the case. There we go. Let's go. Get his ass. There we go. Tear that shit down. And the outfit is terrible. It's totally clashing with everything. Look like a Christmas Falcon. I'm not done yet. You should be. You should be. Right, like, come on. Let us both kill you already. Right. Car one became car five. Then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. Nope, we couldn't get inside that room. The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. Or it could have been in the room where we couldn't get into. Hold up. Hmm. Main control room. It might be there. We could get in there. We could have. Nah. It's that. Here. Yeah, it's that. It's that room. We couldn't get in there. Hmm. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. Right. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. Mm -hmm. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. Mm -hmm. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was yep, involved, you may have had a key. The culprit may have had the key. Yep. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. Mm -hmm. That's how they got. They past. probably sat like right on the wall. That's what I'm thinking. It's not me. Are you sure? I'm not. Yes, you are. Detective work. I call that a critical hit. Mm -hmm. it seems like he's barely standing. Let's slash his ass one last time. Just to finish him off. Yes, let's do it. Uh, how do I do that? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to do that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like that. Get him! All right. Oh, deduction, denou denouement. Hmm. Oh, I have to put this in. Oh, the sequence of events. Okay, it's where the truth is made clear by thinking through all the deductions up to the point. Please place the correct piece in the corresponding deduction gap to reveal the truth. Lock pieces can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up. Once every gap is filled with a piece, finale revealing all mysteries be revealed. Okay. So. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh. So where did Yuma rush to? Okay. He rushed to... The... I'm sorry. Wait a minute. What's that say? Um. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's not what I... That's not what I wanted. Okay. There we go. Okay. X. Let's press X. There we go. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. The Amaterasu Express. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, next. Next slide. Okay. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay, so... Let's switch. Let's... Okay, okay, okay. I was already at the end. Okay. Bet. Alright, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So, this one... Let's look at... This says, who's the culprit? Okay. The culprit is not there okay let's let's go back let's go back to the other side okay boom boom okay oh we're doing it that way okay okay what was used to put the detectives to sleep it was the coffee but we don't have that okay let's see what was used to break the window it was definitely you okay so boom for that one all right all right what was used as a red herring it was definitely the, was it Apex's body or was it, let's see, let's, let's look, let's look, uh, so what was used for the detectives to sleep? It was the knockout drug. Let's put that there. There we go. Got that one. Okay. Let's look at this. What was the culprit doing in the main control room? He was hiding. 
Let's see. The train detachment. Hmm. And then what's it say? What happened when car one was detached? Uh. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, the blackout. The blackout. The blackout. Okay, so the blackout happened for that one. Let's put that one there. There we go. Okay. For this one, that's when he did that, correct? Yep. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we're, we're doing good. Okay, this one says, what did the culprit burn? The plate. There we go. Let's put that there. Mm-hmm. And then for this one, what happened after exiting the tunnel? It was shaking again. Let's see. The attachment to car one. Boop. There we go. We getting it together. Okay, which body was found last? It was that one. Boop. There we go. And then for this one, where was the culprit hiding? Under the bed. There we go. Bam. Got it. Okay, and now what was used as a red herring, which was the pillow? Boop. And then now we get to the end, which is who's the culprit? And it's zilch. There we go. Bam. Let's get it. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Mystery unraveled. It took a lot. <laughs> it took a lot. Mm. That was a lot. Step right up. Step right up. <laughs> Five master detectives hey. slain before their time. And hey. the Terrasa Corporation has master hey. in their sights. Mm. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction game on. I like the music. <laughs> The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai War. Yep. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. Yep. All oh, because you were fast asleep in the lost and found, Master. If you'd kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. And that's probably what they wanted to happen. When the hmm. train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. Because they set it up. And so the culprit scheme had already begun. Mm-hmm. They was already the planning to kill somebody on there. Was involved in the ghetto. Mm-hmm. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. Mm-hmm. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Yep. I bet the culprit. Who was the first person on the train? So they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. Yeah, because nobody else saw it. I hmm. felt unwell. Poor no Melanie, I'm sorry. Pour me a coffee. I'm so sorry, Melanie. I thought After it was you, girl. It, I started to feel drowsy. Mm-hmm. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Yep. Uh, this thing you yours truly was responsible. Yeah, we did, because... I'm sorry, Finny. I'm sorry, Melanie. <laughs> the culprit sent me off to car one in order to find me as the killer. Yep. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but mm -hmm. since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Yeah, cool little design, though. I'm not gonna Once lie. I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep. Because of the drugged drinks. And that's how he was able to kill everybody. Huh. Burned everyone to death. Yep. Setting all those master detectives on fire. On purpose. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. Mm hmm First, they carried Apex's charred corpse to the infirmary and car. This is a lot of work. Like you really was Very thinking to yourself, I'm gonna kill everybody on board. Then they that is so insane. <laughs> the restroom I was sleeping in. Hmm. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Mm-hmm. Better have someone sit inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Mm-hmm. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Apex's charred corpse. Mm-mm. -hmm. me into bed with a charred corpse. That is so psychotic. Chivalry was dead. That is so psychotic. A gentleman. I'm actually a little jealous. Mm -mm -mm. A knife and cushion created the red herring. 
Mm-hmm. I have a way to pretend to be dead. Right. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. Hmm. While well, they were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. Mm-hmm. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Mm-hmm. And that's when the fire extinguisher is just sitting there, ready for me to take it. With a knife lodged in his chest. Mm-hmm. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. Hmm. That was when the culprit took out Apex's burnt corpse, switched places. This is actually psychotic. This is actually psychotic. Enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. Mm-hmm. It's just like a magic trick. Switching places under a veil of smoke. Mm-mm-mm. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Hmm. Smashed the window. Unlocked the room and went inside. Uh huh. Just like the culprit plan. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. Mm hmm. After the smoke cleared, I found Zilch's body burnt to a crisp. Yeah, but then we saw everybody else's At body burnt to a crisp. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. Mm hmm. The culprit had me completely fooled. Mm hmm. That must be why they picked the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Exactly. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. Mm hmm. And his ass was just sitting under there like a psycho. Like a psycho. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, crazy I ass. I to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Mm -hmm. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Mm -hmm. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That's insane. You are this is an insane man. Caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. Mm -mm. So when the train shook. Girl, okay, so that's fan service for the sense out there. Is running on a separate track. The culprit went to work. Mm -mm -mm. Preparing to disguise car one as car five. And that's when he burned everything. Girl, we don't care about your jiggling boobs. We don't care. He fixed his culture was carried to the corridor. The necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Mm -hmm. Then the car one number plate was burned. Be properly identified. Exactly. Everything in place. Mm -hmm. The culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and hid, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Mm -hmm. Well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Mm -hmm. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. Hmm. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached car four. Okay. Now behind car four, that car became car five. Mm-hmm. Let's speed it up, y'all. We got it. Programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Right. Technology sure is convenient. Mm-hmm. The culprit riding in car one attached it to the back of car four. Mm-hmm. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power yep. supply stayed the same. Exactly. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. Girl, we, are you a pick-me? After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. Mm-hmm. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. Mm-hmm. Actually car one. Yep. I found the corpse. I deduced that it was Apex from the necklace it had on. Yeah, he took it off. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. Mm-hmm. The disguised corpse in the car switch completely fooled me. Yep, fooled everybody. We couldn't know. Yeah, we couldn't know. Oh, this is a despairingly brilliant idea. Hmm. It's an insane the train idea. Arrived in Conaywar. Connected to a different, prearranged car one. Mm hmm. 
And then that's when they got off. And y'all try to set me up. This is such an elaborate plan. Right, it's so elaborate to try to frame me. That's so insane. I was set up as the one responsible for Oh, the poor Yuma. And Amaterasu was in on it. Hmm. What really turns me on? Girl, we are not... This is me off. No, right? she meant, she meant turns her on. She meant talk about stuff, jiggling and everything like that, so she's corny. During that time, the corporate stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. Mm-hmm. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. This is so After crazy to set all me the up. Master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to bring me as the killer. Mm. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. Mm -mm -mm. And the evil doer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than Zilch. Zilch Alexander. It was you. Uh huh. I like the team up on the call out. There we go. Mm hmm There we go. And she posing like Gasho is. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm Go ahead and hit his ass. Get him. Truth I've uncovered. Oh, we didn't even see him hit him. I wanted to see him like slash him or something. Is that it? Is it? What's this? Is this his the soul? Truth. It's the soul of the true huh. culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The hmm. soul of the true culprit? Wait, hmm. what am I supposed to do with this? Bring it to the outside? Now it's time for the main event. Bring it up? Here we go. It's my time to shine. Hmm. So do we bring it to the teleporter that we were in before? This almost looks like an execution. Blood lust. Hmm. Overflowing despair. Oh, despair. Hmm. Oh? Oh? Okay. Every time I see that scythe, I keep thinking about Soul Eater. I can't help it. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Go get him. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Get him out of there. All right, here we go. Back to the present. Back? Yep. Man, y'all, y'all do not look scary. Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Oh, I forgot you still exist out here. I forgot about you. Okay. The peacekeepers will take care of you. No. Nope. We have all the time in the world. Oh, I just had the time of my life. Okay, let's 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 get the real truth out here. Come on, Yuma, you know what to do. Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Present him with the facts that you just got. Are you listening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, I know who the culprit is. Exactly. Uh, it's Zilch. He's still alive. Mm -hmm. He framed me. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? He's already dead. Go check that main oh. car. Shut up. This is not up for discussion. Mm. What a waste of time. Go check that main I car. Shinigami, where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen. Go check that main car. You're so cute when you panic, so why head to enjoy the view for a bit? Oh my gosh, Stop Shinny. Playing around. Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. Hmm. Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. It's not like he's getting a hard on just to like Take chase me. Away. They're like, uh, hello. What? He's dead. Hmm? Looks like it's over. Oh. Huh? What? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? Right. There's always a price to pay. Oh. I read the soul of the true culprit. <gasps> the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is oh. destroyed. Oh. It has a price. The you die for real. The mystery labyrinth also perishes. Oh, wow. Perishes? So he's dead for real now. 
Don't tell me. That's mm -hmm. right. The true culprit dies. Mm -hmm. the, that report saying Zilch, the true culprit was dead. And they was in on it, so they was trying to pin on me. Today's mystery. Mm -hmm. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. Well, I guess that's what they get for trying to pin it on me and lie. So. Go, master. A happy ending. A roll credits. Hey, I'm Nothing with it. about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? I mean, he was trying to pin it on you. I don't feel bad. He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. And he did all that to kill I people. Mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. Hmm. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Exactly. Okay. Swank, did you mm -hmm. just receive a report that Zilch was dead? Mm-hmm. How did you know that? Because Zilch was the one so. that did it. If mm -hmm. he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. And you just said that everybody on board was dead. So you saying that Zilch is now dead means that you were already in on it, bitch. So that's how we caught you. Someone who died in front of our my eyes was alive. Mm -hmm. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Hello. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. Right. You didn't try to frame an innocent person. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You got you. You can weasel your way out of this. Mm -hmm. You better not forget your incarnate ward now. You I don't you care. Powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. Oh, really? No, um, I didn't mean. Hey, don't surrender. Right, don't surrender. Don't, uh uh. That don't be a punk. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. You got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Oh, you just take all my rights away, huh? Hmm. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't do this. No, wait. Y'all cannot do this. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Oh. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? Who's this? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Okay. Oh. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Hmm. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? Yeah, this is the one that likes to do it's his tough job correctly. Consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me. Yeah? Hmm. You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. Oh. Uh oh. What? Uh huh. He know what you're doing. Go. Cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. Mm-hmm. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Hmm. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. Mm-hmm. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Right. Right. Yeah, what's up now? Get your tinfoil grill out of here. Let's go. Yeah, get your ass on. I like him. I like his voice. I like his voice. Uh huh. Yeah, let me go. Hmm. Now, who is this man? Oh, thank goodness that worked out. Who are you? Who is he? Right. Beats me. Hmm. I guess we'll find out later. Well, so I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Okay. Thanks. It Thank must be you. Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? How do you know my I name? I am. And you are? I'm Yaku Furio. Uh-huh. Yaku. Yaku Furio. Kinda nice. A little bit. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say hot. I would just say like he he it's alright. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. Hmm. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Oh. And the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. So that's where I was My supposed to go. Welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Okay, you were expecting Thanks. me. The pleasure is all mine. Hmm. So he's a detective from the WDO. 
finally I've met an ally. You think? He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. I still can't really? trust everybody. He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. <laughs> By the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. Of course you not. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. Okay, It'd got you. It would be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Oh, that you don't have to go into details. Jesus Christ. Well, Shitty wants to see that did, happen. They just assume you're some crazy person. Jesus. Now, shall we? Okay. Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this incident. Look, you can go through that right. whole deduction, okay? I'm not going through it a third time, okay? It was already long enough when I solved it, all right? Hmm. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. Mm -hmm. They practically interrogated you, right? Yes, they did. <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Hmm. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Okay. The cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Okay, so Even we can't if you use any of that. something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Hmm. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Wow. Did you see no one? Right. You show a lot of promise. Considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. Hmm. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. I see. The uh, thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. Why? Does That's a basic bullies? rule. Never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. Hmm. Kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> okay. I see. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. Hmm. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. Excuse me? Uh, hitman? For who? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai. So that was the plan right here. So Zilch was a hitman. Which is this Amaterasu Express master. So Zilch, so Zilch was, was a hitman. Actually a okay. Hitman? Right. Nope. Oh. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh my god. We were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Oh my god. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward. Wow, they and killed his the ass. First car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. Oh, poor real Zilch. If no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. That is so insane. They would go to such lengths? Right. Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Damn, now that all they got Even is the situation, me. I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks hmm. to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, hmm. if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes that six. Six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Fuchi, hmm. heard from the precise. Well, well, I'll explain that later. I think it's because of the heartbeat thing, because he's already dead, so. Yeah, anyway, let's I leave mean, this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. The heartbeat was was not going. If he was if the real Zilch was already dead, then it means that they couldn't have a heartbeat to detect. So I mean, I think that makes sense. It's raining. Mm-hmm. Hey, Finally hey. made it outside. Okay, we're coming. And they were right. There's no people. It's really nobody here. Oh. Oh. Who was Who's that? that guy? Right, who was that? Beats me. Y'all don't care, y'all just suck at your job. You just suck. <laughs> Massacre on the Amaterasu Express and Dunzo. <laughs> okay, so let's look at my results. What are my results? Okay. Triple, I mean, double S tier, deduction, RDN, oh, my stamina was a C, okay. So. Okay, I ranked up. There we go. As final, I still got an S, so that makes me feel good. That is it for today's episode of Rain Code and the end of chapter zero. And let me say, I apologize to Melanie because I really thought it was you, girl. I'm sorry. But to be fair, 
I couldn't figure out who it actually was in the beginning because I didn't have all the information I needed because I had to be in the mystery labyrinth in order to get it. So, my bad, and cut me some slack. But <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like on and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be back with another episode of this because it is very fun, but it takes a long time to do these episodes and to record it and edit it and all that good stuff. So please be patient for the time it takes for these to come out. <laughs> okay? So I'll see you guys later and deuces.